comments. So this meeting will be recorded. The Zoom application will notify you that this meeting is being recorded. Please press continue on the Zoom application to stay in the meeting. If you would like to speak during public, I mean, uh, during the uh, question and answer session, raise your hand on the Zoom application or press star nine on your phone. Please only raise your hand while the item you're, you're speaking on is being presented and then staff, staff will enable you to speak at the appropriate time. Esta reunión está siendo grabada. Por favor, presione aceptar para continuar permaneciendo en la reunión. Si usted quisiera hablar durante la parte de preguntas y respuestas, por favor, presione el icono de levantar la mano o estrella y nueve si está usando un teléfono celular para hablar únicamente durante el artículo del, el, del que se está presentando. Okay,我们现在会议要准备开始。那麻烦你们如果有任何问题，要等到举手或者是按星号九以后，等到我们这边同意让您问问题的时候，您再问问题，好吗？谢谢您。那我们今天的这个会议会被录制。so as I mentioned, this meeting is recorded. Um, if you cannot stay for the whole meeting, there is a website. Um, Lafayette Public Access Center. If you cannot stay for the whole meeting, there is a website. Lafayette Protected Bikeway Project. You can do a search or you can type in the website. Um, you can uh, give me a call. My phone number is 408-615-3026. Or you can give, uh, or you can send me an email. It's rgarcia1 at santaclaraca.gov. Si usted desea, como ya hemos mencionado, esta reunión va a ser grabada. Eh, si no se puede quedar durante toda la reunión, tenemos una página web eh, a la que puede visitar. Es eh, Lafayette Project Byway, eh, Lafra Lafayette Protect Byway Project. Eh, o se puede comunicar conmigo al 408-615-3026 o me puede enviar un correo electrónico a rgarcia1 arroba santaclaraca.gov.chica. 好，那我就是欢迎大家来再重复一次今天的这个会议会被录音，会会被记录下来，会被录音。那如果您有任何问题，之后也可以上我们的网站，在这边您可以看到网站最后面是Lafayette Protected Bikeway Project。Santa Clara CA GOV. Okay, so we will continue. Um, second. So, um, sorry, there's other attendants trying to get the passcode. So I am trying to send that as fast as I can. Okay, so the meet, uh, the agenda for tonight's meeting, um, we'll go through the introductions and staff. Um, we will go over the bike lane project, the background and the purpose. We'll go over the results of our parking study um, and some project options. We'll have a poll question. Um, and then we'll look at another project nearby um, we'll talk about the next steps and then we'll have a question and answer session with, with um, our responses. La agenda para esta reunión, vamos a hacer nuestras presentaciones y vamos a presentar al personal. También vamos a hablar acerca de nuestro proyecto de la vía del ciclista. Vamos a tener información de historia y el propósito. Eh, un sondeo del de parqueo y las opciones. Vamos a tener una encuesta. Eh, también tenemos un proyecto que es cercano, que es un proyecto de mejoría para el, para el, el peatón y cuáles son los siguientes pasos a seguir y también vamos a tener preguntas y comentarios. 好,那我們今天的這個會議主要要討論的幾個項目,我們第一個會先介紹我們這邊所有的工作人員,然後我們會來討論自行車道的這一個案件。
，然后我们会讨论它的背景还有目的。同时，我们也会讨论就是停车的这一个项目，还有它其他的选项。最后，我们会看大家的意见还有问题。那另外，我们也会讨论一下行人专用的这一个嗯进步的这个 project 这个项目，然后下一步要怎么做？最后是大家的问题跟回馈提提议。Thank you. Um, so the meeting format. As we said, we'll do the staff presentation and overview, and then at the end to, to ask questions, the raise hand feature is at the bottom of the um, of the screen on the bar. Y el formato de esta reunión, como ya habíamos eh, comentado, vamos a hacer la presentación del personal y una sobrevista. Y al final de la reunión, por favor, presione el icono de, el icono de levantar la mano para poder proveer eh, comentarios o hacer preguntas. Este icono se va a encontrar en la barra de herramientas en la parte inferior de su pantalla. 那这个今天会议的形式，我们会先就是我们这边的同事同仁们会先给大家看。做我们的讨论，然后在最后你要看到下面我们的屏幕最后有一个手举手，这边你才可以问问题跟提出您的意见。So um, just for introductions, my name is Ralph Garcia. I'm a senior civil engineer with the City of Santa Clara Public Works. We also have Carol Sherriot, principal transportation planner, and Jonathan Yee, transportation manager, joining tonight. Para presentar al personal presente esta noche, como ya me había presentado, yo soy Ralph García y soy ingeniero civil con señoría. También tenemos a Carol Chariat. Ella es la eh, directora del planeamiento de transporte y también tenemos a Jonathan Yi, que es el administrador del transporte. Ahora, yo me voy a presentar. Yo soy Santa Clara, este pueblo. Nos vamos a incluir hoy a los miembros de la reunión. Yo soy Ralph García. 我是高阶的土木工程师，然后还有另外一位 Carol Sharia， 他是我们交通部门计划的这个主任，然后还有 Jonathan E 是交通这边的主管人员。So at this time,、um, I would like to ask any of the attendants if they would like to continue the translation in Spanish or Mandarin to please raise your hand to let us know.、Um, I'll give you. Uh, about twenty、um, seconds. Okay, en ese momento nos gustaría preguntar a los presentes si quisieran continuar escuchando la interpretación al español o al mandarín. De ser así, por favor, presione el icono de levantar la mano. Le vamos a dar veinte segundos para hacerlo. 那我想接下来问一下现场的参与会议的人员，有没有任何人需要西班牙语或者是中文普通话的翻译？那麻烦您举个手，谢谢。Okay, I don't see any attendants raising their hand, so we are going to end our.、Uh, Interpreter section, and then the rest of this meeting will be continue in English. It was a pleasure for me to be here tonight. You guys have a good rest of your evening.、Uh, thank you for using our service. You have a good night. Bye bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so we will go on with the background of this project. Um, this project began in、um, June 2019. Well,、uh, the project was identified in the Bicycle Plan Update 2018,、um, and it's included as one of the top 40 priority projects for the city. In July 2021, City Council approved the Lafayette Street Protected Bikeway Project, and the design is grant funded. In August of 2021.、Um, There was a city notification letter of potential parking removal as part of the project.、Um, in January of this year, we collected parking occupancy data,、um, and then in March we completed a、uh, parking study. In May, we had our first community meeting on this project, and、uh, today we're having our second community meeting. So some of the outreach we did for this second community meeting 
um, we did we did a multilingual outreach um, in English, Spanish, and Chinese Mandarin. Um, as you saw, we had translators at the beginning of the meeting. If anyone um, needed those services, and we sent mailers out to about four hundred addresses. We also advertised this meeting in the city hall news article on the project webpage and through social media, including Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. We also um, put a notice on Nextdoor and on the city calendar event. So the purpose, um, as I mentioned, this is in the bicycle plan update 2018 as a priority project. Um, the intent is to put in um, a bike facility on Lafayette Street from Laurelwood Road to Reed Street. Um, it's supposed to be a class four separated or protected bike lane, and it requires the removal of parking on um, Memorex Drive to Parker Street on the west side of the roadway. So what is a separated bikeway? It's basically, as you can see in the picture here, a, um, a buffered bike lane with some sort of vertical element in the buffer space. So on this picture here, you can see that these are flexible posts and the buffer space. But um, if you look on the far side of the picture, um, it could also be a raised median island. And that's what that's showing there. It's a little difficult to see. So how we did our parking study. Um, this is our study area and in red on Lafayette Street, that's the area that will need parking removal. Um, so what we wanted to do is collect data, not only on the segments that would be affected, but on nearby segments that might have um, additional um, parking um, to, uh, demand. So the study area includes Lafayette Street, Memorex Drive, Shulman Avenue, Ronald Street, DeGiulio Avenue, Avila Avenue, and Parker Court. As I mentioned earlier, we collected this data in January of this year, Tuesday through Thursday. Um, we looked at the daytime parking demands and the overnight parking demands. So daytime is typically more for um, people that work in that area and overnight um, is tend, tends to be people that live in that area. That's when they get the most use of the on-street parking. So what did we see? These are the results. So what we found was the peak daytime was in the was in a weekday morning. And you can see that this was the current parking demand or showing what was available during our observations. So what it what it's basically telling you is that on Lafayette Street, there's only 9% availability on the that north segment. And then on that south segment, there's 16% availability. And then um, close to Lafayette, there's higher demand. And then when you get further away, there's, there's a little bit more space for, for parking. So what happens if we move the parking on Lafayette Street? So there's higher demand um, in the neighboring streets as you can see. So what we did was we shifted all those people that were parking on Lafayette to the neighborhood. And you can see basically what that does is it puts the, the parking at capacity for the neighborhood. So what happens overnight? So overnight, there is a lot less on-street parking demand. Um, so what this is telling you is there's, there's less of a residential need on street parking at this time. And then we did the same um, the same task. We removed the parking on Lafayette Street and moved that to the neighborhood. And we, we figured that people would park as close as they can to Lafayette once they lose the parking. So that's why you see that there's a higher demand of parking on street nearest Lafayette. And then the other streets remain um, 
fairly open for parking. So then I'm just gonna go over some of the options we have for, um, for the project. Um, one of the options, this is the first one, um, install protected bike lanes to meet the bicycle plan. So this is basically full build out, we remove the parking on the west side of Lafayette and we put in the, um, the buffered or the um, separated bikeways. So as you can see, the top picture is the existing. Um, I'll just go through that real quick. So on the left side of the street, there is um, parked cars. Um, so we would remove that. And then on the right side of the street over here, there's just a travel lane with no parking. So once we remove the, the parking lane, that gives us enough space to reallocate the roadway space to have a buffered bicycle lane. That's option one. Option two, same thing with the, with the existing conditions, um, but we installed a striped bike lane on the west side of the street only. So this, as you notice, doesn't have that vertical element. It's just a regular bike lane. Um, and that's right next to the parked vehicles. The other side of the street remains a shared lane. So bicyclists and vehicles will have to share that lane and it's, it's 12 feet wide. Bike lane option three, kind of the same thing, but um, reversed. We leave the, the parking lane in, um, but we put the bicycle lane on the other side of the street and the, um, the bicyclists on the, um, the left side of the picture there. Um, has to go with the shared vehicle lane right next to parked cars. If for some reason there are no parked cars, um, the bicyclist may be able to, to ride in the parking lane when there's, when there's less parking on street parking demand. So now's the time for our poll. Um, and we're gonna ask, what is your preference? So once again, Option one, remove the parking and install protective bike lanes on both sides of the street. Option two, keep parking. Um, the west side has a new bike lane and the east side has a shared lane. Option three is reversed, keep the parking. The west side has a shared, line, shared lane and the east side has a new bike lane. And then we also have option four, which is basically as is, keep parking, no changes and shared lanes on both sides. So what we're going to do is- uh, Hey, Ralph. Yes. Uh, we have a raised hand right now. Um, do you want me to allow them to speak before you tell them how to vote? Sure. Okay. Uh, cool. right. uh, Lori, you can go ahead and speak. Um, I thought that was the way we were gonna do the polling, but I'll wait for yeah. Ralph's um, description of how the polling will work. Okay, awesome, thank you. Yes, yeah, so that, that's how polling will work. So what I will do is I'll say option one, option two, option three, or option four. And then after each one, if you, if you raise your hand, um, we'll count it as, as one of those votes. So the first one is option one. Please raise your hand if you prefer that option. Ralph, do you want them to only vote once? Um, yes, please, please um, vote for your preferred option. So we have two hands up for option one. Okay, so I don't think we need to continue our voting. So let me put in, calculate the results real quick here.
Okay, so in the screen now, you'll see the results from our first community meeting with the additional uh, results from this meeting. Um, and you can see the breakdown of the percentages. So it looks like the top choice is option one. Um, and then the second choice would be option three. So option one, once again, is to remove the parking and install protective bike lanes on both sides. And then the second choice is the option three, keep parking. The west side has a shared lane and the east side has a new bike lane. Let's move on to the next slide. So we're going to uh, go over uh, another project for this. It's um, in the same area, but it's a different, it would be a different project. It's called the um, Pedestrian Improvement Project. Um, well, it's a part of a larger project we're doing in this area, but this one in particular is for Lafayette Street and Parker Street. Um, and as you can see on the screen, there's different images here, but what we, uh, what it has is an uncontrolled crosswalk on the north leg of the intersection. And you can see there's very few pedestrian amenities. There's, there's, no, by, um, there's no ramp, curb ramp for, for pedestrians and there's no controls. So our, uh, our uh, recommended project is to install what we call a Hawk beacon or a pedestrian hybrid beacon. Um, basically that just shows a red light to drivers when pedestrians see a walk button. So they'll, they'll push the button to cross and then drivers will get a red and pedestrians will get a walk symbol. Um, and then it gives them time to, to cross and then at some point it does go to flashing red to let drivers know they can continue after stopping as long as pedestrians have cleared um, the intersection. And, and that also starts the pedestrian countdown phase. And then once the time for pedestrians has ended, the, the signal will go dark and then there's no pedestrian phase activated. So this is basically the, um, the aerial view of what it would look like. Um, we'll put in new new ramps and new bulb out, and the signal will be um, on the north side of the intersection. So north is going to the right side of the page here. We've applied for two grants recently for this project, the active transportation grant um, in June, um, and then we expect the results um, next year in June, 2023, it's a state grant. And then we've also applied recently for the one barrier grant, OBAC three um, this month. So we expect the results to be in January, 2023. So the next steps, August to September, we're gonna summarize our community feedback received and prepare a staff report. In October 2022, we will present the options to City Council for approval, and we expect in January 2023 to start the design of the Lafayette bike plan, bike lane project. I'm sorry. Um, so now we can open it up for questions and feedback. Um, once again, if you want to raise your hand and ask questions, please do so. Looks like we have a hand raised. Let me unmute. Lori, you can speak now. Thank you. Um, are you asking for input at this time or are you going to poll us as to whether to, um, we prefer the Hawk solution? Um, for that project, we are not polling. Um, that one we've already submitted a grant application. We've gotten feedback from other community meetings and um, from our bicycle pedestrian advisory committee meetings. Um, it looks like that one, we're just going to go ahead and try to apply, get the grant money for that. And we can, we can start the project if we get funding. So that one, that one's just more of an informational, um, just uh, slides for you. Thank you. I strongly support that effort. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right, well, um, seeing no further hands, um, 
we'll move on to our last slide here. Just thanking you for spending your, your part of your evening with us and going over this project. Um, once again, if you have any comments or questions, um, feel free to give me a call or email me. Um, and then there's our, our website for you. So thank you for attending. Stop share. Let me stop recording, Ron. Okay.